Hi, Sam Torbersam of Joy Music Services, and we want to give some of the gospel feel of the minor jazz run that you hear the pro musicians using. Key of C, and we're going to say the C jazz minor scale. That is C, E flat, F, we'll go F sharp, G, B flat, C. Now fingering is 100% of what is necessary here. So you're not using the major scale fingering, you are borrowing whichever way is more comfortable. Turning on the thumb, Now some will teach the third finger whichever way is more comfortable for you is how I teach. The left hand So how do you get more comfortable in practicing that? Let's pull up a, an actual drum pattern that we can use. We'll slow it down so that we can practice just doing that until you can build up your speed. Now we're gonna select one, let's see. We'll go with a, a, with a basic jazz pattern, drum pattern to practice with, just as this is jazz. And we'll slow it down a bit. Left hand. Back down. So I want you to practice with me. Hear the, hear the actual bass drum. Let's count. One, two, one, two. Left hand and. Hold and. One more time. And right hand, let's count. One, two, three, four. One, two, ready, play. And one more time. Last time. All right, so I'm gonna leave some of the drum pattern there so you can practice without me. I'll count you out. One, two, ready, play. And. All right, we're gonna try this with both hands. Let's count. Ready. And, and down, again, down, very good. So now we're going to take it two octaves, because the thumb is going to be in place. Ready to count two octaves? Two, let's count, and and down. All right. 
So we got two octaves in, which is great. Get my drum a little break. We're gonna speed it up a bit. That's a little too fast. That's still too fast. There we go. So this is what's gonna build up your fingering speed. Two octaves, and we'll start a little lower. Ready, and let's go, and... Hold back down. One more time, and... And deck down. So a little bit faster. I, I messed up on that last note. But what you're going to be able to do is... That's what you're going to be learning to do. As you become more skilled at moving your fingers across the, the, the scale, the jazz minor scale, you become more proficient, get that right word out there, more proficient at adapting your own feel for it. Just feeling it out. Let that drum lead you. Take a little bass. Just making it up as I'm going. Just think it in my head. Just figuring it out. Chords. Get that left hand. I have to have chords to fit what I'm doing. This is just freestyling right now. So you can just do so much with just practicing just that jazz minor scale. We didn't give you this one. That brings you to the close of the minor jazz scale run.
see you on the next lesson.